hello and welcome in this video i will talk about a scenario called vendor registration process or a prospective vendor so what is this vendor registration so vendor registration is like a supplier or a vendor gets the access into the erp system and they fill up all the details about their themselves in the system by a registration form or a wizard and then after filling up all the details and once they submit all the details as a vendor details into the erp system that's create that creates a, a record called prospective vendor that is still not a vendor so that prospective vendor goes to the erp team and they you know reviews all the details once they approve then automatically a vendor will be created or gets created into the erp system so that is all about the vendor registration process in erp let's see how we can do this easily in microsoft dynamics is to finance and operations so now i am in microsoft dynamics is to finance and operations page before we you know, go ahead and uh, see the process we would like to maintain or we like to make sure that a uh, couple of prerequisites uh, for this setup the first prerequisite is that there must be a user workflows okay so this helps to create the vendor id into the system so as i mentioned in my ppt that firstly we need to give the access to the vendor okay then they can update their details in the erp system so make sure that this workflow vendor user request new user or modify user workflow is there if not there you need to create this workflow into the system the path is system administration workflow and user workflows okay <clears throat> and this workflow has uh, some element called once it's once this workflow is approved automatically the user will be created in the system administration and un under user this is first requisite prerequisite the second prerequisite i would like to explain which is external roles so in external roles uh, you need to make sure that vendor admin vendor contact and vendor prospect these roles are created here otherwise these roles basically is for the prospective vendor so if you don't have this role okay system will not give any access to the vendor and they will not be able to fill up the registration form this is second prerequisite and third prerequisite i will talk about uh, that uh, in the uh, procurement and sourcing module we have called procurement and sourcing workflows under this procurement and sourcing workflows we have a workflow called vendor add application workflow okay so this is one of the uh, most important thing which is mandatory we need to create this so it will help you know system to create the vendor or if you see uh, once the prospective vendor is updated or created in the system then the erp team will review that vendor by a workflow so this is the workflow which helps user to see the details submitted by the vendor so these three prerequisite we need to make sure that this is there otherwise the uh, procedure process, process process will not work okay so now <clears throat> let's see so now i will talk about one important setup which which is vendor request configurations so this vendor request configurations are basically uh, drives the vendor registration form which is like i say suppose uh, when vendor opens their form to fill up their details there you can configure like there are multiple fields in the vendor registration form you can you know <clears throat> dictate the system that which form will be dis which field will be displayed on that form and which we can uh, make it hidden so if you don't want to update or we don't want vendor to see these details or you we have no relevance in your business process or the organization business process you can hide this so they will not see these details otherwise you can all of course you can you know make it displayed for all the fields so this is one and say suppose you have some field which is as per the organization's policy that must be filled up like email so email is a mandatory thing you need to make sure so you have a option called record if you make it record then without filling up these details system will not allow to complete the vendor registration form by the vendor okay 
this is one of the important setup i wanted to take care okay there are countries and regions are there also and content this is one of the most important thing which is say suppose vendor is opening their registration form when they have access and they you want to or organization has some terms and condition or policies which uh, they want to showcase in the vendor registration form before filling up the uh, sheet okay so you can add the terms and condition after that you can also add the acknowledgement so, so suppose in any form which we fill up in you know cloud or any of the application that we need to make sure the terms and condition I, we read and we click on i confirm that i read the uh, i i agree with the terms and conditions something like that so that also you can add here and these are all configurations after that there is a config confirmation message so config confirmation message is what once they are once they have filled up the form this this written you know text will be shown that uh, everything is completed and you can manipulate you can add that uh, confirmation message that okay i have added like submit and wait for the next step so that i have added you can also add as per the organization requirement and most interesting and important and very you know um, feasible and uh, convenient which is questionnaires so in vendor decision form any organization can have some uh, questions as per their organization policy or they want to make sure that the questions are answered before filling up the organi uh, before filling up all the details by the vendor so here we can add multiple questions and these questions all are configurable like you can have checkbox you can have enum values you can have you know multiple rows anything you can create in these questions so i have created two questions here and in the questions we can also you know enable that uh, whether they are able to click on the back button or not you know they can also see the overview button or not responded comments this, this is like each and every question uh, you know when once they are updating the questions or replying on the questions they can also add the com comments as well anything they want and you can also make sure that all questions are required fields also you can uh, you know manipulate like if it is uh, they can skip or they have to answer all the questions that kind of things also here answering report result report point statistics questionnaires correct answer you can also group and score the score the answer based on the based on your requirement if that is you know less than the expected score that will fail and that vendorization form will not be completed so these questionnaires i will not uh, discuss much because it itself is a topic maybe uh, someday in videos i will take care or i will discuss what is the questions and what is the form what is the module of this course we have a different form called questions questionnaires okay so that i will not uh, go deep in this so this is the form so it is derived uh, is a module itself so i will not discuss much so that's uh, i just wanted to show you that these questions uh, can be added here so i have added two questions okay individual or freelancer right and there also i have added second question do you have a warehouses in india or not okay so i have added must be completed this question also must be completed okay so this type of questions we can add as per the requirement and this will be all be filled up by the vendor itself okay so this setup is mandatory and you have to or you can design the vendor agent form as per the company's requirement organization's requirement okay so that's it and then we will now proceed for the you know uh, giving access to the vendor how to do that let's see so here under procurement and sourcing module we have a form called prospective vendor registration request which is vendor collaboration under vendor collaboration request so you will select this now we will create the vendor contact number so suppose uh, like microsoft okay company name is microsoft and business justification says suppose cloud vendor anything like this you can update line of business organization number everything and organization type says suppose organization or person i will select organization here i will give my name last name paul and here the email id 
it is the contact details email id who will access i'm sorry uh, i don't think this form has open okay <clears throat> little bit disturbance that's fine so here we update the contact details of the vendor contact okay who will access our erp system and will update the registration form so now i have saved it once i have, once i have saved it i will have a option called invite user so i will just click on invite user and some pop up will come that the request to create a new user with prospective vendor privilege have been submitted once your request have been processed processed the status of the veneration request will be set to user invited so what does it mean basically we have created the uh, contact details of the vendor and we have sent it for invite user so it's basically uh, like i mentioned in the prerequisite under system administration user workflows this has been submitted in this workflow and this workflow has some component called uh, like uh, how to say like azure active directory access and kind of thing right so this is the part which is like that so here uh, we can go to procurement and sourcing where we were this prospective vendor agent where we have invited the user the same form will we have this option called prospective vendor user request okay this one i will click on this once uh, uh, this has been submitted so now this is pending for approval why it is pending for approval because i have created the prospective vendor user request and the admin team or the respective person will review whether the access is required or not for the vendor i will approve this let's wait for some time so let me explain once again we have submitted it for the access it's not the you know anything else it's just the we are giving the access that is the reason it is in the workflow so let's wait uh, we'll complete this workflow so i have approved all the steps in the workflow and this is showing as approved so once it is approved it has to be completed otherwise uh, the user will not be created automatically so it is approved it has to be completed so let's wait for some time so what system is doing basically we have approved this uh, user request and once that is completed automatically system will create the user in system admin user form with the required user role so this is the role which is coming as i mentioned in the prerequisite this vendor prospect which has to be created as external user then automatically system will understand this is for vendor prospect request and system will assign this role to the id which i have requested which is my gmail id okay let's wait for some time so now this workflow is showing us completed completed mean that means this user my gmail id has been created by the system as a user in the user form i will go to user form uh, which is say gmail okay see this user id is created by the system automatically once the workflow is showing as completed so this is the point of creating the user so once the vendor is created as user with the uh, role called system external user and vendor prospect okay now i will create this dynamic 65 in a different form with my id which my gmail id let's see how what what are the details vendor can see in the erp system okay so i will go here i will wait okay. so here once i have once a vendor will access the system they will end up in this screen they will only be able to see this form vendor registration wizard we call it 
or a vendor registration form nothing they can see in their dynamic 65 only the only this wizard they can see so i will click on next okay before i go to the next okay i will select india i will click next next and you see this is the terms and, con terms and condition we have created as part of the vendor registration uh, <coughs> configuration i will show you that you can once again relate it what we have done previously under procurement and sourcing vendors vendor request configurations here we have added this general text as below are the listed terms and condition demo accept terms and condition the same thing it is showing as a terms and condition you can write or organization can have their own terms and conditions here and then the general acknowledgement text text which is i accept the terms and condition i can write anything the same thing is coming here okay i'll click yes okay then next so now vendor can update their details in this registration form say suppose number i will give my number okay don't call this number And then uh, I can give the email ID called two. I can give website www.com. I can give ag address information. Say I will give X address called Kolkata address. Country region. This is the same thing which a user creates when they create a vendor details. So here as you can see vendor can update by themselves. Test street phone. Okay, you can write anything here. You can click OK. So remember it's the vendor who needs to update it in the registration form. Now I will click OK address information it is the general information which is so i will go back okay. and then here i can give all the details it is a contact information it is not that vendor information it is a contact information which is coming automatically as i have already created this user with my name which is filled up by ramit paul and this email id which is contact information i have already created i can give my number here and call me in this number if you want any help in dynamic 65 dimension operations i can add the address details as well and see here ownership profile it is showing very less the reason we have hidden many things in this setup hidden hidden right so i can click on small business business so see small business i will show you how where it is so small business is displayed that is the reason it is displayed had it been hidden it would have not shown here okay i can update here i can maybe update inr so terms of terms of payment also it is exposed here so i can select a vendor can select terms of payment seven days next procurement category also i can update and then questionnaires okay so as we have as i have shown you that i have created two questions in this configure this i will select complete questionnaires and then as i mentioned individual or freelancer so here i have given two options freelancer or organization i can select organization remember these are all configuration nothing is coding here so you you, want, you can have your own questions own answers how you want to see that questions either it is checkbox or some drop down or options you can all configure as per your requirement okay and then forward and then i have added like do you have warehouses in india yes or no i will click okay yes and then once this is done i will click end the complete questionnaire has been saved i can al always click on view answers i can select my answers as well i can also restart questionnaires okay 
select list restart again i can update this okay see organization yes okay and then i will click next so had it been multiple questionnaires we would have updated multiple questionnaires as well so there is a disclaimer that once this is submitted into the into this registration form vendor will not be able to update anything once it is submitted <coughs> okay i will click finish and once i click finish you see this submitted and wait for the next step from where it is coming it is also configuration here i have updated this comment submit it and wait for the next step that's it <coughs> so the vendor has updated you can assume uh, they are details into the ERP system or I can say that a uh, user has not updated the vendor edition form has been filled by the vendor in the dynamics itself once it is submitted this has been submitted into the workflow which workflow is it was I can explain I once again that remember I have told that procurement and sourcing workflow as a prerequisite and this is the workflow vendor and application workflow this this workflow basically helps to work on this so now vendor has updated and completed the request with all the details i can go to this vendor request i can see these details is pending review this has been submitted by the vendor so now as a ap user or admin user what they will do they will review this okay they can also update these things and what information see i will now explain uh, vendor information if you see vendor information uh, we have up, the vendor has updated I have updated in the validation form as a street address everything contact information also it has come contact person information it was already there with my ID uh, address I have already uh, only updated the number which is already there okay so <coughs> here small business locally everything is showing Currency also vendor has updated as you, I mean I have updated but assume that vendor has updated in the requ requisition form. The seed is showing as currency and in terms of payment also it was updated by vendor and it is showing now. I can review and I can change also. And questionnaires information. I can always click on answer, check the answers here. Okay. These two answers. What are the answer uh, vendor has updated? Okay. Had it been any comment, it would have shown in the comment section. So once I have reviewed it, once I am perfectly fine, okay, they have updated everything as per the requirement, I can approve this vendor. Okay, uh, let's see, let's wait. I think still it is not in my queue. Once the user have reviewed this, they can click on review completed. Okay, so this review completed is a manual task as an element in the workflow which you can configure or you can just uh, skip this part on the approval it will be there in the system as for the requirement okay let's wait for the second hierarchy <coughs> let's see the view history maybe Okay, it's taking some time. We can just fast forward this part a little bit, maybe 20 seconds from now. Okay, so here I will just approve this. So, before I uh, go to approve, you can also click on additional information required and it will go back to the uh, st stage where. The workflow was there submitted it will need to be reviewed once again okay i will click on approve <clears throat> once we click on approve see there is a op there is an error is coming which is not letting me up uh, sub approve this one the reason is vendor group must be filled in so vendor group is something that organization needs to fill it is not vendor can fill it up so i will just select and then approve it so it is done let's wait the next step is that 
So as of now, what we have done, uh, we have given the access to the vendor. Vendor has completed the registration form with all the details. And then again, it has come to the admin team or IP team to review all the details. And once they approve, the next step will be to create the vendor automatically. So once the system, uh, you know, when the workflow is completed, the vendor will be created in the vendor master from automatically. So as of now, this has been a prospective vendor uh, by concept and which has been added by the vendor itself. And then it has reviewed, it has been reviewed by the user in the ERP. And then once we approve, the vendor will be created. Okay, so that is the process. But let's see, let's complete this process. Okay, let's wait for a couple of minutes. Let's see, I have completed. Okay, and then once it is approved we can go to the vendor form okay you can also uh, go to the vendor form from here but it requires some click which is i will show you because any day a customer will ask that from the vendor request only i need to see the vendor uh, i need to see the vendor number and all but it is not that straightforward you can click on this vendor name in insert column and see there will be a, a vendor name called Microsoft which you have created you can double click on it okay and in the roles you can see this vendor number from here and you can click on this vendor number it will redirect to the vendor master form so it is a vendor master maybe you can also go to uh, vendor master directly from accounts payable and vendors okay and then you can search with your vendor which has been created so it is a microsoft one so this is this is the one which we have been working and system has automatically created this vendor so it's not that we have created manually so everything which has been updated by the vendor uh, it is coming here as usual okay so there is a whole process of vendor prospect so from now uh, once this is submitted there the next process is vendor collaboration so this vendor collaboration itself is a topic which i won't cover it today end to end because i have already taken a session on this vendor collaboration you can go through the videos but wh what i wanted to update you that so once this is the, the vendor is created you can always go to this contacts and view contacts and you will see the already this vendor provisioning for the vendor collaboration has been submitted into the workflow so what it does basically it is basically the extra two roles which is required to use the vendor collaboration so i will show you so once this is approved okay so like they have, the vendor has updated the vendor registration but once the vendor has been created, the system will look like this. The original Dynamics dashboard form, but there will be no modules because it's the vendor, vendor, uh, vendor contacts which will be accessing the Dynamics 65. Okay, but you don't see the vendor collaboration module. The reason is you remember when we have created this vendor, only two roles was assigned, which is vendor prospect and vendor external role, which means they can. They can uh, you know, create their details, they can update the registration form, but unless the vend to another role is vendor collaboration, which is ab added into the user, user won't be able to use his vendor collaboration. So for that, you know, once this is the vendor is created, automatically system will create another workflow and that will require approval for two additional roles, which is vendor contact and vendor administration. Okay, so if you approve this one, then the vendor collaboration details will be seen here like uh, invoice bidding and all so but i won't go deep on this because this is another topic what i wanted to wanted to cover today is that the vendor prospect process so as of now we have learned that the process of the vendor prospect or vendor registration is first we need the user has to be created okay and then the vendor will get access into the D65 ERP. They will only be able to see the registration form. They will update all the details in the registration form about themselves. And once they complete the registration form, it will come into the vendor prospect. 
and once that is reviewed uh, by the admin team or ap team in erp once that is approved the vendor will be created automatically at the same time vendor uh, collaboration access will be requested automatically by the system and that will be submitted into the workflow so that's what the vendor request and the vendor uh, vendor registration and the wizard and the uh, you know how to say the vendor prospect process is uh, available in microsoft dynamics 65 finance and operations so as of now that's it uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching stay tuned for another video like this bye for now